former X Division champion and number 22 on PWP's top 25 of 2022, Mike Bailey here, and you are listening to Pro Wrestling Proverbs with Logan and Anthony. The Royal Rumble is this coming Saturday, or if you're Gunther, Sunday. (laughs) As always, it is probably my favorite time and match of the year. Uh, The the match card looks all right, as it always does. I'm sure there'll be, there, there seems to always be one match that stands out every year. But being able to have two Royal Rumbles, the amount of surprises, the amount of feuds being started, feuds kind of capping off, it does everything. We've got the Women's Rumble, we've got the Men's Rumble. It's one of those years you don't really know who's going to win. There's speculation, but there's no clear-cut winner. And within the past couple years even when they're supposed to be a clear-cut one, sometimes they throw a curveball. But before we get into uh, the match itself, uh, I, th- I have to talk about something that I saw, or I see on social media all the time when it comes to the Rumble, and it just, it, it, it really bugs me. Uh-oh. Like, why is it that fans get so up in arms about, like, a good surprise return? And I'm not talking about, like, a debut, like, when Sami Zayn came back and he was in the Rumble, or, it, you know, AJ Styles' debut. That's that's fine and all. But I'm saying, like, a good return. And does it really matter? Like, is this legend coming out for maybe a minute to ten minutes? Does, is, does that really take away a spot from someone who should be in the Rumble? Like, has there ever been a time that someone came out as a surprise and you're like, wow, they left John Cena out for this guy? No, usually it's like, oh, oh my goodness, they left out Internet Mark's favorite for this guy. They left out Carino. I mean, yeah, exactly. And I mean, it's usually a good time, you know, to give them... To give them the roses really that's i mean at the big moment and i it's one of the few moments in wrestling that like still brings emotion out of me because you hear the fans you can tell uh, nine times out of ten you can see on the superstar's face they're shocked and you hear oh i thought they would forget about me yeah yeah exactly even though i won the world heavy championship like seven times and i wrestled for 35 years the fans would have forgotten about me by now you know, you leave Edge alone. I, it's such a dumb fucking thing to say. For someone like that, yes. For others, I think it does make sense. It's kind of cool. I mean, one that comes to mind, in 2000, Bob Backlund was a surprise in the Royal Rumble, and he came out at Madison Square Garden. And this was the Attitude Era, so it was like anti-everything um, from Backlund's era. He still got a huge pop. That was such a cool moment. Um, after that one, the next one that really comes to mind was also Madison Square Garden in the 2008 Rumble when we had Piper and Snooka in it. Um, uh, that one was special more, not only because the fans cheered, but as Piper got in the ring, there's a shot where you can see CM Punk in the corner and he's trying to cover his smile because he's so excited that he gets to share the ring with Hot Rod. Yeah. Um, and then as years have gone on, I mean, Rob Van Dam was a surprise in Detroit in 2009. Booker T and Diesel both made their long-awaited returns to the WWE after they were in TNA purgatory for quite a long time. This was That was 2011. Um, Road Dog came back around this time. Uh, Road Dog, especially, I think, is one he got. A, that, that was Vince and Triple H kind of giving him his flowers, saying thank you. Especially since he left on the not-so-best-of-terms 
and he took quite a few shots at the company. So it was one of those kind of shocking moments for him to be back, and now he's one of the top guys backstage. Uh, 2012, Jim Duggan came back, got a huge ovation. You could just see the smile on his face. But you just keep going through the years. I mean, in 2002, Kurt Henning wasn't so much a surprise, but just the reaction of the fans. And it happens more recently, too. MVP in 2020, in the Women's Rumble, Lita and Trish, both that first one in 2018. Michelle McCool, in the countless Rumble appearances, she seems to be the women's mainstay. She always Um, seems good, too. Yeah, I saw someone compare her to The Godfather because he was always a surprise. Fuck you. The Godfather would last like a minute at a time. Michelle McCool, if they were to ever have a surprise win it, it would be her. How, like, I wonder how many uh, eliminations he has. Like, where she rank? She's got to be up there, I think. Um, around the same time of Lead and Trish, we got Rey Mysterio to come back to the WWE. Something that... A lot of people didn't think what happened. He had years at Lucha Underground. He was in the main event of All In. There was talks he'd be with, you know, this upcoming AEW promotion, maybe TNA. Um, and he came back, and, I mean, he's almost had a career renaissance. You mentioned Carlito earlier. That was a pretty cool moment. MVP, when he came back, both he and Carlito, it was only supposed to be the one night. The uh, one that sticks out in my mind is when Jeff Jarrett came out and he had the small program with Elias. And that's what this Rumble does. It gives people an opportunity to kind of have one more run. Um, I don't know if the Dudleys would have been able to come back like they did if Bubba Ray didn't have his 2015 Philadelphia appearance. And even, I mean, Christian, who I've talked about being the best signing AEW has gotten from WWE, his return happened in a Royal Rumble. Um, funny story about that. Uh, I have a friend, Barry. He's a, he's, a, he's a big Christian fan. And I knew Edge returned the year before. Also a and, Christian. <laughs> no. I, I took the piss out of him that year because I said, oh, I've been reading it since Edge returned last year. Christian's supposed to return this year. And I sent it a couple times. And I was fucking with him. And then Christian came out in the Rumble. And I was like, oh. Not so much a funny joke now. <laughs> but yeah, I don't understand why. And, and I mean, I, I will admit, there's some surprises that aren't good. Uh, Drew Carey, Jillian Hall, the one year in the Women's Rumble, Daniel Pewter, the one year in the Men's Rumble. When they do the announcers, remember remember those couple years where it seemed every, every Rumble had to have an announcer come in? Yeah. Yeah. And Michael Cole and Lawler had a better Rumble time than JBL, who I thought would actually get in and do something. Crazy how the WWE worked. We didn't even have his gear on. I know. I I, I think he still could have done it, but what do I know? Um, and then there's been some, I mean, the surprises I list, like I said, those... Are the biggest ones, I think, if you were to make a best returns surprises list, you've got those. You've also got, you know, the return from injury, like John Cena and Triple H. Uh, and then you see people complain about those, because it's, oh, are they healed enough? Why didn't they just give it to this person? Why didn't they let this person at this spot? Like we said before, wrestling fans are fickle. But, the like I said, the most... Uh, most frustrating part for me is when, like I said, uh, uh, are we really going to get another Lita and Trish appearance in the Women's Royal Rumble? Whose spot are they taking? Huh? B Fabs? I think. I mean, I think you like. They don't, I don't think they have enough spots. Uh, no. If for people like on the roster, or at least to make like an interesting Rumble. To be honest, in my yeah. in my humble opinion, yeah. Like, you have to bring out Lita. You have to bring out Twish. You have to bring out Michelle McCool. I think Lita's been in... Lita, she might have missed one, but she's been in almost every one. I think Tori Wilson's been in almost every one. Kelly Kelly. Yeah, usually the Bellas in one form or another. One of them, yeah. Uh, like I said before, on the men's side, Godfather was that constant return. Uh, Kevin Nash returned to the Rumble a couple times. 
I wouldn't be surprised if as his government tenure starts to wrap up, if Kane begins to make a couple Rumble appearances, he was always a Rumble mainstay. It's not like he has to do much. Come out in his gear, throw a couple people over the top rope, get knocked out himself. Uh, rumors this year, the only one for the men's that I've truly heard is X-Pac. Uh, but his name's been floated around for years. Um, and, I mean, there's always so many rumors with the Rumble. You always hear about all these people being in town, right? Oh, this person went out to dinner with this person. Or I remember when Jake Roberts came back in the WWE fold, they're like, he's going to be in the Rumble. You watch. DDP's going to be in the Rumble. You watch. I'm pretty, I think DDP was... I, I don't, was he ever... Yeah, he was in a rumble, but he came out in his jeans and t-shirt, so I tried to block that out. Um, Goldust was another person that's returned a couple times. I still think it'd be kind of cool for him to come back, especially with this Cody thing. Cody being one of the bigger things right now. Uh, there's a lot that could happen. They usually have a hometown hero, too, whether it be on the men or women's side. Where's the, where's the rumble held at this year? Uh, Florida. Not a lot of people from Florida. Not at least off the top of my head. St. Petersburg, Florida, if you want to be specific. Tampa Bay. Oh, Robert Gronkowski. Hulk Hogan. I would love it. Real American. Hulk Hogan does live in Tampa, I believe. Real American going off. At least that's where the beach house is. Uh, it'd be amazing. Or beach shop, sorry. Or... I, I do have... I, one of my predictions is we're going to see Cena come out. Um, we have not seen Cena since Sola Sequoia just beat the shit out of him. I think the Rumble is where you set up a match with these two in Australia. And I think that's where Cena gets his win back. I, I, people online think that Cena's going to fight Solo at Mania. But A, I don't think they're going to have Cena lose to the same guy twice in a row. Once, that's one thing. But yeah. twice, especially with how dominant Solo was, I, I don't... You're not going to do Cena like that. So I think they have it at the chamber. <laughs> Cena wins. Solo doesn't lose at Mania. Everyone's happy. Um, I think it'll be one of those times where Solo's dominant. Like, he'll come out like at number five and he'll toss out, you know, the Mizzes, the Otis, like, people that don't matter, but still look, and Soul will be strong, and then Cena's musical play, and then Michael Cole, oh, that's John Cena, we haven't seen him since the beating, and maybe there's a chance Cena clotheslines him and Solo both out, so that way Cena doesn't have to do too much at the Rumble. Uh, I do think, yeah, Cena, there's a big chance, I don't think The Rock's gonna appear. A lot of people, they think, I mean, especially now that he's on the board, right? He can just put himself in the match. Um, what? I think he could appear. I'm not in the rumble. He could. They could do. Well, it'd be telling if the fail four way goes on last. Yeah. If the fail four way goes on last. There's post match shenanigans for sure. Uh, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. Or not? I would assume it would probably be the rock. But uh, real quick, let's. You know what we should do? What? Let's. Give me three names from each Rumble. Or, not from each Rumble, su- potential surprise entrants for each Rumble, the men's and women's. And we'll uh, compare and contrast and see who got more right. I'll give you six total, you'll give me six total. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll start. For the men's. We'll do like we'll do like a draft. Let's do a draft. Okay. Um, if you want, I can start with the men's since I, I had my Cena with Solo. So you want? So you want Cena? Yep. Um. Give me. Matt Cardona. Oh, that'd be fun. Uh. So I have one, and I've thought about this, and I've played it in my head many times in the men's rumble. So say Kofi Kingston comes out at number six. New Day music hits. Fans are excited. Then after a little bit, Xavier Woods comes out at, say, ten. Again, New Day music hits. 
fans are excited. Then at about 13, you hear, don't you dare be sour. And the fans erupt as the New Day's music hits one more time. And whether this is his final hurrah or whether he's healed enough to come back for a full-time run, Biggie Langston, finally, after it's been about two years now, Big E makes his Rumble return and gets to share the ring with his brothers at least one final time. Uh, he was. He just got asked about uh, TMZ. What do you say? Uh, no timeline. That's what he said in TMZ at least. Could be Riven. And you know the rivers. <laughs> He's got big ribs. Well, the real question is, did anyone see him in Pittsburgh? Has he been seen in Pittsburgh? Oh, because the dock. Yeah. That's how the Edge one. Yeah. Was, like, leaked. Uh, I don't know. There's nothing immediately on Google. But uh, my next one, I think they're kind of becoming more, um, uh, what's the word, nostalgic for the Ruthless Aggression era. Yeah. And they're trying to bring those people back. So I think a good one possibly would be like somebody like Chris Masters. Yeah. They'd say Masters. Master. I, I wouldn't say Tez- Mr. Kennedy. I, I feel like there's still a lot of like some heat there. Well, especially with Triple H heading things. Yeah. And, he's not, and it was, he's not big enough to like look the other way. No. Well, and it was Orton that got Kennedy in trouble and H is still... You know, it's one of his boys. Uh, care of him. Masters is definitely a good pick. He's he's done a lot on NWA and with Impact. Um, it'd be cool for him to actually come back and have a real run and get some sort of championship. I mean, Carlito's here. But why not do Masters and Carlito? See, and now's the tricky part. Because, I mean, for an honorable mention... I see, like, like every year, Kurt Angle teases he could be in the Rumble. And then and then the day of, he's going to do something cheeky. I don't know if you remember the one year where The Miz did the Instagram reel, and it was like uh, when you sleep in, but they call you for the Rumble, and he, like, throws his blanket off, and he's got his gear on, mm-hmm. and his music plays. And then Kurt Angle did the same thing, and he looked at, the, or he looked at his phone or the camera or whatever and just shook his head and said no and went back to bed. Kurt's a great guy. Uh, I am going to go over to this aggression era. And I think that they pull for I don't know why. But I think someone like Charlie Haas has a chance of appearing in the Rumble. Charlie Haas? Charlie Haas. Charlie Haas. Yeah. I will say I've also heard potentially Shamrock. I don't believe that one. Um, no. But I think a Hall of Fame induction could happen, especially with The Rock being on the board. Him and The Rock are friends. But, you know, Charlie Haas. I, I think it would suck a little bit that Benjamin just got released and we didn't get a World's Greatest Tag Team. I mean, we got the diet version with Gable. But, um, yeah, I think I think Haas could hold his own in the Rumble. Plus, Michael Cole would be there. Michael Cole pretty much called everyone Haas's matches. It would be a nice little nostalgic pop for Cole. Uh, this next one for me, uh, if if we don't want to count it as a surprise, uh, we don't have to. He's not an active member of the roster. Um, he obviously hasn't been announced. Uh, Brock Lesnar. Oh, yeah. I, th- I think that'll happen. Um, one that I hope, but I don't think will. I, I would love Pat McAfee as well. Yeah. We'll but no, Brock. Uh, he should be free. There's no college football anymore. I don't think he has any other commitments. Yeah, Brock being in the Rumble that would definitely set up for this rumored uh, Brock and Gunther match at Mania. I have, I have one more that I think is actually I don't only want to do three of each but I'll do one more men's. I think Jeff okay. Jarrett. You think so? I think he's a uh, he's a shoe in right? 
Has he done anything on AEW lately? Oh, he's in AEW, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, I feel dumb now. Yeah, remember I... he's the Texas he's the Texas Deathmatch champion. I thought he was doing the live events still for WWE. No, he's in AEW now. Is he really? For a while, yeah. It's just how much AEW I've watched. Yeah. Let me see. Like I said, and and before that, X Pac what is the big like that's they've been saying him for what about about a month now, right? Like this is finally the year. He's not gonna tear his asshole. He's gonna he, he's gonna be in it. Um, I don't know of any other rumors. Uh, I'm sure there'll be an NXT call up. Um, just don't really know who. I really hope Gable Stevenson's not in it. Uh, um, yeah, I guess that's the other question. Is there any surprises or possible call-ups or that you don't want to be in the Rumble? That I don't want to be in the Rumble? Yeah, Gable Stevenson's mine. Well, Gable Stevenson's mine boring. already. He, I think he's boring. He can barely wrestle right now. Yeah, so same with Daniel Pewter, though, and they put him in, so... Put Gable and rough him up. <laughs> um, I don't. There's, I don't think there's anybody in NXT that I, I wouldn't want. I think like Carmelo Hayes would be cool. Blonde Breaker would be cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's never really not many people. Well, there's nobody in NXT that just like offends me like personally where I wouldn't want. I I, there. I would have had Okada in my top three, but as I was told on Twitter, he has to go to NXT first. Yeah, well, Okada could show up. That's a that's a possibility. No, he's got to go to NXT. He can't. I know. He we're has just, we are to just, learn we are not, the WWE. Uh, we're just not winning any fans this week. First our no. podcast tier list video. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, I put out a tweet saying that Okada going to NXT might be the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And people did not like that. Yeah, I've had to put out a lot of fires this week. Yeah, you have. It's okay. Uh, uh, now, women's? Women's. I th- uh, so, before we get to them, this uh, one I've thought of, and I don't think it'll be this year, do you think we ever see Stephanie McMahon in a women's rumble? Probably not anymore. You don't think so? You don't think even one, so that way she can do the old cliche of, so my kids can see me wrestle? No, I don't think so. Yeah, because then she'd have to win. She wouldn't allow a loss. I wouldn't. Oh my God, Shane better not be in the rumble. I think he's still recovering. Oh, can we confirm? Can we confirm? Is he still recovering? I would hate to have to get a plane down to Florida. (laughs) I think he's. I would hate. I think he'd be okay. An update on his health. This is from October. His rehab is going very well. Oh, my God. He's gotten back to jogging, squatting, and he's starting working out again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, I guess while I'm having my existential crisis, even though we said our three that we think, um, I thought your, I thought your idea, I don't know if you were serious, uh, you gotta mention your brief Wyatt idea. Oh yeah, I. I don't even know if this is something I'd even want. Like obviously, I'm, I'm all for like paying tribute to Ray Wyatt in any kind of way. Uh, that thing, but I thought this is something I one is dependent on. I know Braun Strowman's kind of hurt right now. Um, if he's cleared and able to go into it, I can see like Braun coming back at like whatever, like somewhere in the middle of the Rumble. And then the next one is uh, Eric Rowan, or is it, is it Redbeard now? Is that what he goes by? Yeah. Yep. Uh, well, he'll probably go by Eric Rowan if he's in WWE. And then he comes out, and then, like, Uncle Howdy comes out. Uh, and it's obviously it's Bo Dallas, but we won't, we won't ruin the illusion. And, like, they all come out, and uh, they have, like, like, a, like, a standoff moment in the ring. And then all the fans will... Get up and clap and no chant for Bray, 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 or something yeah. like that. And There'd then, probably be 
someone in the ring too, and Uncle Howdy would hit the sister Abigail. Yeah, I, th- I think probably Uncle Howdy. I if I was booking it, I'd have him hit the sister Abigail. On like, who's who's somebody that like Bray feuded with? Oh, feuded with? I was yeah. gonna just have it be Theory because he's kind of the punching bag right now. Um, There's just somebody that like like oh they did it because they feuded with him. Like Randy, maybe. Yeah. Randy would make the most sense out of people who are left. Because you can't, you're not going to do it to Seth or Goldberg. <laughs> yeah, it'd be Randy. Yeah, just do Randy and her and LA Knight or whatever. It doesn't have to, they don't have to throw him out. Then I just have, like, Uncle Howdy, like, essentially just eliminate himself. But, like, not. No, I get what you're going for. Like he 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 exits the ring over the top rope, yeah, type deal, and then Braun and so like nobody like oh how you eliminated Uncle Howdy, yeah, uh, and then Braun and Redbird can just get tossed out by no it'd be something. A, it'd be a cool moment we'll have to see. Uh, like I said, I needed I needed that story because I was you know having a little anxiety attack. I don't I don't want to hear here comes the money. Uh, it was it was wrong enough at Mania. I don't want it at the Rumble. That's already happened once in the past five years. I don't need it again. Here comes the uh, money. Nope. I turn the TV off. Like I do what everyone on Twitter threatens to do. But uh, now we're on to the wonderful women in the WWE. I started with men. Do you want to start with the ladies? Yeah, I'll take the easy one. And I'll let you, okay. I'll let you have all the hard ones. Uh, Jay Cargo. I, yeah. I if she does not come out the women's rumble, then like, what are we? If she doesn't, for? if she doesn't come out the women's rumble, then the rumor that they took a look at her at the performance center and they're like, oh, she's not good, is true. That'd be the, that. Yeah, she has to. They have to get her on that road to WrestleMania. We have to eventually get that Cody Punk Cargill six man tag. Um, it's coming. It's coming. I'm wondering if she's had enough time to recoup after having the baby. Uh, this would be another way you could get a Bray Wyatt tribute in. Uh, I'm gonna think. I'm gonna say Alexa Bliss. Oh yeah. Um. When when when, she, when I like I don't know. It's hard to play doctor here. When did? When did, when did Alexa Bliss have her child? December 1st. Well, it's possible. I don't know. I. She could run in, hit a few punches, and then or get tossed over. Seven. Yeah. yeah. You know, orangutans throw babies on their back as soon as they're born and carry them up and down trees. So, I mean, if an orangutan can do that, Alexa Bliss can be in the rubble. You, you, heard, you heard him. So, like, so, get on it. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, give me a one eye, uh, a long shot one I would like to see uh, AJ Lee. That'd be fun. I always liked AJ Lee. Uh, Rock, uh, Roxanne Perez reminds me a lot of her. Um,. If there's any NXT call up, I that's my number two. I'm gonna say Roxanne Perez. Roxanne Perez. Yep. She's my favorite uh, NXT woman right now. She's definitely in my top for just women in wrestling. She was the last Ring of Honor Women's Champion before it got uh, rebranded. I don't know if they'll bring the Ring of Honor Women's title back, but. Uh, they did. Never mind. It's just kind of non-existent with Athena. Um, yeah, she was Rock C. She was real good in Ring of Honor, and having this WWE seasoning has only made her. Huh. Oh, give me that one girl from NXT with the big booty. Nikita Lyons, is that it? Yep, yep. Yeah, I want her. She's getting called up. Yeah, 
Hopefully then there won't be two Lions losing this weekend. I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. Uh, All right. My third. Let's see. I've done turn. I've done I mean in NXT. I could go easy and say Liv Morgan. But that's too easy. I'm not looking for handouts. I think... Taylor Swift. Nope. Nope. She was in the news the other day asking to appear back on WWE TV. I'm going with former women's champion, former cruiserweight champion, Jacqueline. Hey. I like her. In the back of my head, I wanted to say someone just really just obnoxious that I knew it wouldn't be, but I do. I think I think Jacqueline is my pick to be the big. There's usually that one women's legend that comes out, and it's just a huge ovation. Yeah. Uh, was it last year? Two years ago? When Victoria returned and the crowd just went nuts. Um, I think Jacqueline could be that one. I would love to see Sable come back. But, uh, I don't know. I just don't think it'll happen. Yeah. Um, I, I haven't heard any big women surprise rumors. Of course you have the names like, you know... Sasha being thrown around because Sasha's will they won't they with every company in the world right now. Yeah. Um. Uh, Naomi is a big name being thrown around. Oh, I'm trying to think. If there's anyone else that truly stands out? Who knows? Maybe uh, Karma slash Awesome Kong. I wouldn't doubt if maybe they give Brandy Rhodes one chance to participate in a WWE ring. You know, she says she's retired. Um, who knows? Maybe Rebby Hardy shows up. Because all these issues with Matt. Fuck you, man. I'm going, to, I'm going back to Vince. <laughs> Rebby, you don't work there no more. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, now, gun to your head prediction. Okay. Uh, who's winning the men's Royal Rumble? I think it's got to be Gunther. He was in the uh, final two last year. You know, up until up until it was pretty much confirmed that Cody isn't finishing the story this year, I would have said Cody. I still, I, I, up until I heard that, I still thought they did Cody and Gunther again. Cody would overcome the odds, or Gunther would still win and Cody would win the Elimination Chamber. But I went with Gunther. He's going to go in with the Intercontinental Title after winning the Rumble, beat Seth. Um, they're they're. He's going to be bigger than Warrior. And as for the ladies, though... I almost want to say they're going to have Becky Lynch win it again because the her and Rhea face-off that happened. And Rhea wanting Becky to win. For me? Yeah. I'm not going down there. I think Gunther gets thrown out. Okay. Like, maybe, like, I don't know, by Brock Lesnar, the guy okay. that I have coming back, and they do a Brock Gunther match at Mania. We kind of, that's kind of something he threw to the ether last year. I think it's something yeah. that could happen. Um,. Give me, give me punk. Okay. I, don't, I might look dumb after this. Uh, I still think they're, they're going to do Seth versus punk night one. 
And the way to get there, Punk wins main events. Boom. Punk finishes his story before Cody does. Or maybe not. I don't know. Who knows? So you're telling me, you're telling me that back-to-back Royal Rumble winners are former AEW main eventers? <laughs> what if I told you? WWE copies everything. What if I told you three? What? What if I tell you that Jay Cargo wins the women's Royal Rumble? I'm I would call you. I'm just joking. Oh, I ain't gonna do I was that. Say, well, I would call you crazy, but uh, didn't they do that? Who, who won it last year? The women's Royal Rumble. Yeah. 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 Did Ronda win it one year? Yeah, but the year after she she won it in twenty uh twenty twenty two. Yeah. Something like that. Oh, yeah, I think it's possible. I think, yeah. Um, you know, I, I hope I'll, I'll stick with it. I'll say, I'll say Jade. I feel like I don't want to be too safe and pick like Bailey. You know, Bailey right. Win. I think Bailey is the favorite, but uh, no, fuck it. I'll do Jade Cargill. Because that, yeah, that, that would just throw the fucking wrestling Twitter into a frenzy. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Um, it'll just be interesting, like I said, to see the surprises, see what happens. Um, I'm curious if we'll have any celebrity involvement. Um, Logan Paul's been off TV for, I mean, until his Kevin Owens feud, he's been off TV for quite a while. Um, maybe we see Johnny Knoxville come out again. Maybe we see Bad Bunny. I just, I mean, better not be Shane McMahon. Like I said, I'll I'll get my ticket for Mania. Shane, the ass beating is still available. I'll take you coast to coast. Uh, but uh, any 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 final thoughts on uh this the the potential Royal Rumble match? Like I said, match card itself looks good, but a lot of the matches, as you mentioned earlier, are pretty. Pretty predictable, you know what's going to happen. You know, Roman's not going to lose, that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm never really interested uh, in any of the other matches on there. They'll probably announce no. another one Friday. Yeah. Because I think last year they had three matches and the two Rumbles. So I think they'll probably do the same. Uh, like I said, it'll be very telling uh, how the night's going to go. Like, wherever the men's Royal Rumble ends up. Because if the mm-hmm. men's main event in, uh, then... Uh, and then either Cody Gunther or Punk win. Yep. And, and then, but if it's the Fatal Four Way, main event in Cody is definitely not winning the Rumble. No. Uh, and the Rock's coming out. Yeah, and then that's the other thing too. If Cody wins, I know last year I said he didn't need to win at Mania. If you have Cody win two Rumbles in a row and lose both of them, yeah. Yeah. Come on. I think even if Cody faces Roman again this year, he has to win. He ha- yeah, he has to. Because, like, then, then fucking, he needs to retire if they lose. He needs to retire or sell the rest of the contract and go back to AEW. Yep. Like, because, like, there's no way you recover from being, from doing that. You are, you are officially the biggest loser ever. The, the biggest. Dork. Biggest loser I wonder if that's ever been done. Winning the Rumble multiple times and losing okay. both championship matches. Okay, let's well let's see. Who who's Hogan won, won who has won multiple Hogan, times? Hogan, Austin, Michael, Dina, Orton, Edge. Uh Edge only won Edge won his matches though, I'm pretty sure. Or he didn't one beat them, one of them. Actually, I think Edge might be a double fucking loser. 2010? Let me see. Because I think he lost to Jericho. And then he lost the triple threat. Yeah, okay. So Edge. What a big loser. AW loser. Keep keep the ball rolling. I have Cody do it too. 
Okay, so Edge lost twice. Randy Orton, he won in 09 and 17. Yep. He won in 17. So he didn't lose twice. John Cena won in 08 and 13. He won in 13. And I know. Sure. Yep. Batista and won in 2005. He won in 2005. Brock Lesnar won in 03. And he won there. And 2022. Triple H won in 02 and 16. He won. And 16 was for the title. 16 was for the title. Did he win in 02? Yeah, he, he beat, beat Jericho. Jericho. Uh, Shawn Michaels won in 95 and 96 back to back. He lost the first one to Diesel. What about the second one? He beat Shawn in the Iron Man match. Yeah, so uh, Logan Edge. Logan won in 90 and 91. Uh, that wasn't for the main event, though. Edge and is the Stone big... Cold. So who won in 97, 98, and 01? Loser! So Cody, hopefully don't join Edge. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I I think they're spot on, though. If Punk wins, he faces Rollins. Uh, I don't... I, I guess if Gunther wins, he also faces Rollins. Yeah. So I can't see him fighting Roman. And then if Cody wins, he'd go after Roman. I think it's got to be one of those three. Um, as I said, you see people online say The Rock. I don't think they're going to have The Rock win the fucking Rumble. And if no, they do, that's, that's awful. A, that's a horrible way to do it. Like, that's a, like, I, you know, we just talk about, like, oh, why are we wasting Rumble spots? That's an actual waste of a Rumble spot. Yeah, he doesn't need to win the Rumble to challenge Roman. Mm-hmm. Technically, the Roman match doesn't even need a title if it's those two. But I know they'll do it. Yeah, but that's that's neither here nor there. Yeah, there. it's... Yeah. Also, can we just talk real quick how big of a bitch Gunther is? If he if he's coming out here, he's like, oh, I'm gonna challenge you, South Rollins, if I win. You know, you got one leg. Dude, go fucking fight Roman. <laughs> Gunther should be fighting Roman. Like, why would he not? He, he doesn't think he can beat Roman. Because Gunther's smart. He's not a bitch. He's smart. He wants that world title. And he's gonna go, and he's gonna be like a lion ripping apart. <laughs> Nope. Uh, a zebra with a broken leg. He's just gonna tear him apart and stand above him. He wants an easy payday. You know, he's learned from Brock. You go in, you dominate, you win, you leave. You get paid. Smart man. Smart man. He's a very smart man. Uh, no. I, don't know. I, I just I just think Gunther wins next year. I think Gunther is a 2025 Rumble winner. Yeah, I say he, he's got to win soon enough. I guess a wild card that we didn't even mention. Um, there's always a shot McIntyre could win it. They always keep him at the cusp of the main event scene. <laughs> the the only thing Drew McIntyre is winning is like the club keno at the bar after the, the show. That's the only thing he's <laughs> winning, buddy. Let me tell you. He's always right there. He's always on the cusp. I'm, he's un, until he quits. He's gonna be there. He, he's a new Dolph Ziggler. Hey, we need we need you to do this. So, and I guess everything also will depend on since Seth's day to day. What happens with Seth? Could you imagine if before the Men's Rumble they announced Seth had to relinquish the title, and now it's for the World Heavyweight Championship? Oh, yeah, that changes things. Then Drew probably wins. So I'd put it on I Drew. think, yeah. And then have him fight whoever at Mania. But um, I think, from what it sounds like, Seth, he should be pro- he'll probably be cleared to go in like a month. As long as he stops that dancing. <laughs> well, maybe, well, maybe maybe the answer is dancing. Maybe. He needs to do more dancing, uh, you know, fuel the soul. <laughs> and it, like, it's, there's there's just a lot that could happen. And it's always entertaining. Anyone that goes online and tries to say, "Oh, the rumble hasn't been good. Oh, I hate it." You're wrong. Wrong. Yeah, wrong. <laughs> wrong. I, I'm gonna be excited. I'm going to be at the edge of my seat. Um, Hulk, brother, if you hear me, let me know if you're going to be in the Rumble. I'm going to, I'm going to need an inhaler. I'm going to start hyperventilating. 
Uh, Shane, let me know if you're hearing me in the rumble so I can fucking turn my TV off. I don't think a cane is a legal weapon in the Royal Rumble match. Hey, e ECW people used to bring weapons in all the time, and Chainsaw Charlie brought a chainsaw in for the Rumble. So I think I think a cane's okay. Cane's all right. It just good. It just goes with my theory. Uh, no DQ. I'm bringing a gun. <laughs> uh, the comments and made by Logan are not expressly the uh, those of pro wrestling proverbs. He is he's not liable for his own comments and concerns. Imagine someone getting a chair, sitting in the middle of the ring, having a gun, and just as people come out to the ring, just step over the rope, eliminate yourself. You're not winning. You're not eliminate winning. yourself. <laughs> I mean, that's always a possibility, too, and that's something that... That's why I'm watching on Saturday. Watch out for Tommy Dreamer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for listening uh, to Promising Proverbs. If you made it this far, you, uh, you might as well hit the follow button if you haven't already. If you're listening to us on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, uh, make sure to rate the podcast five stars. Big old five. One, two, three, four, five, if you don't know how to count. It's the, it's the biggest one, the most of them. Uh, so do that. Hit the follow button. And if you're on YouTube, hit that big old red subscribe button. And you know, yeah. you know that, that, that thing that uh, all the big YouTubers do? Where it's like, oh, this many people uh, I watch our videos are not subscribed. Well, in the last 28 days, the watch time from our videos... 95% of people who watch our videos or our podcasts are not subscribed. 95%? 95%. Wow. And we're, we, our demographic are 100% male. We have had zero female youth uh, listeners on YouTube. I'm not totally shocked. 